Hello everybody, it's me, Chris Cramble, and today we will be taking a look at a certain story that has been going around. It is about a tale of uncertainty and tragedy. However, I won't be doing it alone, for I have brought a very special guest to join me for today. And that, of course, is my good friend, Royal Psycho. So sit back and embrace yourselves, for it is time to get into it. It was an average Wednesday afternoon. I just got back from work doing the usual Chick-fil-A delivery. Oh, a new episode of Family Guy would premiere at this night at 11 p.m. I was astounded, but since I was getting close to 11, I thought I might as well continue to see what is new around this time. Finally, after minutes of waiting, the episode premiered. It started off with its iconic opening. Although one thing I thought was odd, it was slightly stuttered in some areas. There was even a bit of discoloration, like on Peter's eyes being a bit red looking compared to the other characters. This episode started, like always, with Peter and his witty banter with Lois. The episode proceeded with Peter going to Chris's room, and as I was watching Peter Griffin talking to Chris, he pulled out some weird substance, I believe it was meth for some reason, and I saw this. I was terrified. I kept watching as he punched a hole in his wall, thinking that was funny, but things went to 100 to 0 real fast. He pulled out his eye, entering another one second frame of a distorted image that honestly terrified me. After seeing that I was petrified, so I decided to calm myself down with one of my favorite games, Family Guy, the video game. I started it up, but I noticed something was slightly off as it glitched more often than usual. As I played my PlayStation 3, it suddenly started to heat up and burn out. Immediately after, I heard knocking on my door. I opened it, and there was a real-life Peter Griffin looking directly at me with hyper-realistic features. I was immediately frightened as he looked straight into my eyes. I should shivering in fear, I was practically frozen! But as I was frozen in fear, Peter exclaimed in pride, Yeah, Lois, I'm in real life! And he ran past me and headed straight for my room. He then jumped into my then broken PlayStation 3, and then the game was back on again. I rushed to go check out the situation, as well as the screen. The screen showed Peter in the game, and then he ran around and would begin his great massacre on everybody in the game. He killed everyone one by one, and even the children and women. The slaughter felt never ending with many cries of pain and fear that allowed bellowed from everyone. Each time Peter killed a person, the screen would flash an image of Peter would get more and more messed up. It was eventually after killing the last NPC that the game would shift to the screen that I'll never forget. Upon the end of the massacre, the screen would show the final distorted image of Peter. This one being one of the most scariest things I've seen in my life. Except there was a message on it, and it read, I am God. Upon the reveal of this image, the power in my house went out which freaks me the hell out. What was I going to do? Is this where I was just going to die? In my own home, by the hands of a character I once thought was just funny? It couldn't end like this. It just couldn't. As I was waiting for my eventual demise, the power came back on again. I looked around anxiously to see if Peter was around but couldn't find any traces of him. I heard yet another knock on the front door, but this time I decided to check to see who it was. I didn't see anybody outside, so I opened the door slowly, and I caught a glimpse of what appears to be a big box. I would then pick up the box and examine it to see the details. There were no stamps and there wasn't even any details that had the address or even the sender's name on it. So I took it to my kitchen to open it. Initially, I was extremely hesitant about it, especially after just coming out of that experience with the PlayStation 3. But 
The curiosity got to me, so I opened it. And inside was a Peter Griffin plushie. But not just any Peter plushie, but a bloody diversion instead. At this point, I was already sick of this. I could no longer take it. I was slowly going insane, but out of nowhere, a faint laughter could be heard echoing in the halls of my home. From that day on, I knew nothing would ever be the same again. And especially, my perception on Family Guy would be permanently damaged. Damn. Oh well. That was a pretty interesting creepy pasta we just read. And um I personally think that was a decent one. I mean that was really good. Anyways, if you enjoyed more content like this, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I also like to say thank you to my friend Royal Psycho for being on this video with me and um, doing this. Um, really appreciate it. Thanks. Whoa, that creepy pasta was sure is something. Thank you, Chris Crumble, for letting me on this video. And make sure you like, comment, and share. Goodbye, friends. We're pure racist. <laughs> <laughs>